Okay, kids are grabbing stuff. We are heading out camping. We've been hunting, spending the morning getting ready. Put most of the stuff in the trailer, just finishing up the last little bits. I'm headed to the trailer to go do some organization. Okay, <laughs> tripod is in the trailer, in my bag. It is raining, as you can see. Um, we knew it was going to be raining this week. It's going to be raining today and tomorrow. And then super sunny and nice. So we can deal with two days of rain because we're going in the trailer and opted out of tenting for this week. Um, we've packed everything up. I know it's been a little bit, I, t I told you I would film in the trailer. I didn't have time. It's been a bit of a rushed morning. We had to run out to the grocery store, pick up a couple of things, and now Cody and his dad are loading the generator. And then I think we're ready to go. It's very, it really started raining now, so hopefully it's a little bit better where we're camping. Hopefully. This is, this vlog you're seeing, um, like when we've gotten back. So I just want to give a quick, um, not an apology, because I don't need to apologize for it, but I had planned to give you guys more vlogs last week, but I just didn't have time to edit them all. So I got as many edited as I could. I pre-filmed a lot and then... Um, I just had to leave because between Canada Day and all the other activities and trying to pack for camping and everything, it just got too chaotic. So it is what it is. It's fine. Um, but this week will be filled with hopefully lots of fun camping vlogs. So that's exciting. Are you guys excited for your mm -hmm. first week long camp trip? Yeah. Woohoo! Well, I can't wait what? to camp on the trailer oh, you're eating. again. Yeah. And I don't have to run to that's the outhouse what? every time. Yeah, that's that's a benefit. Well, my favorite part is. I can't wait to sleep in the trailer. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the table bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I get lonely, but now I'm really big, so I might be old enough this time. Yeah. You may no, not feel no. like you get lonely no. on the table bed now. Uh -huh. She likes her private space. That's the thing. No. She's welcome to sleep with me and Gray, but she is not the biggest fan of sleeping with no. other people. Yeah. Because no, no. she likes her space. Mom, yeah. Can we go around? I really and love jiggle and kick. Um, yeah. Uh, veggie dogs with ketchup. Veggie dogs with ketchup mm -hmm. are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are correct. And as you know, Mackenzie, we're you look huge. Yes, they don't. We're vegetarian. You were just like the tallest person now. What do you mean? You look so much older. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Can you please stay little forever? Nope. We should really do put your hair back though, hey, so it doesn't get yeah, all crazy in the rain. In the rain, especially. I think I have plenty of holders in my pocket. We're here. Oh, hello. And it was raining in where we live, and it's not raining here. It is yeah. so nice and sunny and blue. We're, we're chilling on a hammock, my dudes. Yeah, kids are eating a snack. Yeah, We're mostly packed up. I'm going to leave in a few hours for in. like five days. See you yeah. later, nerds. He's going to stay till dinner, and then he's going to go. Yeah, because you know what I love about camping? Like laying in this hammock. You know what I hate about camping? camping. Literally everything else. <laughs> he likes to camp sometimes. He's good for like one or two nights in the tent where we're just like camping for the sake no, no, no. of staying overnight. I am good for days. Nights are the worst. Or I am good for day trips. Yeah. Like, you will camp overnight though. Yeah. I will because I love you guys. <laughs> but I don't want to. Well, this isn't a good opportunity. We like camping alone. Like, we love him, but it's also a good opportunity for him to, like, actually have some time to just himself. He almost never gets just I'm Cody gonna time. I'm going to play so much video games. No, you're not. Yeah. You're going to paint. Paints so many minis and wood burn a DM screen. Oh, is that what you're going to do? And you're going to clean the house and fold the laundry and walk the dogs. Yes. A lot. So, okay. Uh, here, and work out. <laughs> here's my, five, my four-day plan. Uh, Monday night, clean the house. Get all my shit done so I don't have to deal with it. You realize there's a schedule though that's like daily things. Yep. Tuesday day. Well, like those are like easy things that I just do each day. But I mean like. You're going to get all the big Do all the done? dishes done and get all the just shit I need to get done done. Right. Uh, Tuesday is um, like are gonna, are gonna wood mop? burning. Are you going to mop on Tuesday? Because that's mopping day. Yes. Tuesday's wood burning. Okay. I'm okay. just going to get the whole thing done in a day. Yeah. Wednesday is painting. Don't shake this. Wednesday is painting. Uh huh. Thursday uh, is a concert, but before the concert, video games. Yeah. And then Friday you'll come pick us up. Friday. Like around lunch. Yeah, right around lunch. I'll come get y'all. Sounds good. Nice. Good plan. Good morning, everybody. This is day two of camping. <laughs> um. 
It is about 7.30 in the morning. I've got a fire going, generator's running, everything's powering up after the night. I've got some water boiling. We're gonna have some hot cocoa and some coffee for mama because it is a chilly day today, which we knew would happen, but it's actually not that bad. I don't think it rained much more than a pitter patter last night. So that is a good thing. Um, I discovered that there was a hole from the hailstorm we had like last week in one of the covers for the top fence in the one above the bed. So just in case, because I knew we were going to be getting rain, I didn't have any tape. How do we not have tape in this trailer? We are like the most prepared for things, but for some reason the tape got taken out of the trailer. Um, so I ended up using a garbage bag and some medical tape out of one of the first aid kits. So, yay for improvising. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna just keep it simple for breakfast and do some fruit and croissants and then start our day. I have no idea what we'll get up to today, but we will see. Coffee is rewarmed. Fire is going strong. Kids are playing in a little sand bank. And it's a beautiful quiet morning. A little overcast but so far no rain which is good so when we came out here we knew it was going to rain but it was supposed to storm like all day yesterday and be constantly raining today and so far I heard a tiny little pitter patter last night and that was it for like a couple minutes and then yesterday it was supposed to storm like thunderstorm all day and every single one of them passed us like just went right around the campsite we saw them on either side of us they just went around so hopefully we'll get lucky again and it will just move on into sunny skies for tomorrow <laughs> even if it does rain though that's totally fine that's another reason we bought the, brought the trailer was for the weather um it's not a big deal a little bit of rain is not going to stop us from having fun we have appropriate clothing and that's all you need we have warm drinks when we get back it's all good the kids are making a hole yeah, Just make sure you fill yeah. it in so nobody trips when they come and walk their dogs and whatnot. Okay? My buggy buggy. And we'll dig it again. Yeah. And fill it in again. I found Dr. Bone now. And then our campsite's right there. She's rescuing moths from the bird seed. They crawled in there overnight and now she's saving them. Flash also getting them out of her bird seat. So yesterday on day one, well day like half day, um, I surprised myself and finished a book. <laughs> Surprising how much time you have when you don't have to worry about so like much other than feeding yourself and chilling. Uh, so I'm starting, I'm finally reading this. Everything, everything. Um, like I've said before, I read really light, fluffy stuff in the summer. So it's perfect for things like this. How's the moth extraction going? Good. Grayson's been doing this most of the days. Don't jump on it, it's not a trampoline. have a little gopher friend munching on some bird seed. He's pretty brave. The kids are right there. I'm just eating my lunch. Hey guys. It's a little bit windy. Oh, that fire is getting big now. Good. Um, it is Wednesday morning and it is the last of the cold. It should warm up as the morning progresses and into the afternoon and then it's going to be hot, hot, hot. So it's been a little bit interesting this time, camping in colder weather, um, which we've done before, but it's definitely been a while. It was probably 10 degrees yesterday, which was quite chilly. Um, definitely burned through a lot of my wood earlier than I thought, but that's okay. Cody's coming today. Drop off some more supplies. That will be good. I realized I haven't vlogged as much yet. But I've only been here for two days, so 
I think that's okay. Like a full day, a day and a half really. I don't want to have too many camping vlogs to edit and to, uh, I know not everybody's super interested in camping vlogs, but I don't know. I also just don't want to pick up the camera for the sake of filming. I have read a book a day so far. So. <laughs> but that was the whole point of this trip, was to just sit and relax and not have to worry about too much stuff. So I guess I am accomplishing that. I'm just drinking my morning coffee by the fire. The kids have retreated into the trailer because they're cold. Um, I'm sure they'll come and join me soon because this fire is nice and big now. Hey everyone, I just wanted to pop in real quick and say a little hello. The sun has come out, the rain has gone away. I'm so excited. I feel like our moods changed completely. Not that they were bad, but the kids, or I think we're kind of struggling with just being um, closer to the campsite. We hadn't done any fun hikes or really been to the park, except for like once. So now that the sun is shining and beautiful and it's hot out, despite my sweater, I'm just, it's still at that stage where it's, going into hot so when the clouds cover the sun it's cold um but i'm pretty sure we have some big saskatoon berry bushes right by our campsite so i think we might go pick some berries well first we're gonna go investigate to see if there's saskatoon berries the kids are waiting for me i was just in here doing a little bit of research and then we'll go I'm excited for short weather when camping. The rain was a nice break and, and I never mind a little rain, but it's always better when it's sunny. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That looks like a Saskatoon cranberry to me. I saw a bunch of people picking them. Can we eat them? Can we eat them? Yep, that's a Saskatoon berry. We sure can. Did you try one? Yep. Oh, I got one. Oh, try it. Mmm! Go on, try one. So, you know, way back when, Good. Mm, for reference, this is how much tick spray we've used already. I got Cody to bring me the straight oh, oil because I forgot it. There you go. See? Oh my God. So, we are using, don't worry, we are not tromping through the bush without tick spray. Okay, I'm come here. That's, that's mommy and daddy's initials. C for Cody and R for rainbow. What is this? That's plus, so C plus R. Cody plus rainbow. Daddy plus mommy. Okay, so this is kind of cool. If I didn't know any better, I would say these are snap peas. I'm not sure, but they're growing all over the place here, which is kind of funny. Here, let me see the back. Oh, I tons. That's big. Did you go back to the deer path? No, there's no deer path, I don't think. This is so amazing. This is a path, but look at how dense this is. I've never seen it so thick and lush. Finally, after the flood, this is just filled right up. Here. Yeah, there's a lot of side paths. Blueberries. Our tick spray seems to be working very well to keep all the bugs off. Um, we've been obviously bushwhacking, and this is day number three. I haven't seen oh, a single a bug on us. Oh yeah, so getting a good little loot so far. Look at that big mushroom. We should take a picture of it. Yeah. So we can research what kind of mushroom this is. Let's do it so we can see. Mm -hmm. what it looks like. Pretty cool hidden under there. Yeah. I'm cooking dinner right now and I'm waiting for the water to boil, but I figured I would just take a second to chat because I am so proud right now. The kids are playing outside, but they've made friends with another little girl staying here. Well, it's actually like uh, two girls, same age as mine, so four and like eight. But they met each other yesterday, and today the little girl came over to hang out and play at our campsite, and Mackenzie showed her how she feeds the birds. And she let her feed the birds and like let her take over completely, and she was so encouraging and humble, and I'm just so proud of her. Because I've always known that she's such a great kid. 
you know? And I've always known she's super passionate and she's super outgoing when she is comfortable with a situation and when she knows she's kind of on the same wavelength as somebody. But to be completely stepped back and just observing and watching her soar, she was educating the crap out of this kid. But it wasn't bad, it wasn't weird, it wasn't pushy, she was being so humble and this kid was just eating it up. She was asking her question after question and just seeing the facts that Mackenzie was spitting out about, you know, this kind of birch species and I just said that really weird. Um, and the way they, you know, the different kinds of habits and their food preferences and other animals and ways that she could help the animals by um, just doing better for the environment. And she was giving her conservation tips. And it was, we, you know that I've talked about us doing this conservation series with Mackenzie. And that's still in the works. I just want to give it some um, some good time to really form into something good. Uh, but seeing her do it in person and seeing her educate somebody and bring an entire new aspect that this kid has never been introduced to into her life, it was really amazing to watch. And I'm just so proud right now. I am beaming. It was so amazing because there was no ego there. You know, with adults where they're like, you should do this because this, and it, sometimes it's intense. But there was nothing like that. It was just simple and kind and excited. She literally reminds me of a mini Bindi Irwin and it just makes me so happy and excited and proud and just really encouraged for all of the possibilities of her future and I'm, this girl is gonna make some change in this world and I'm really excited and of course Grayson too but he's still little so he was like but he was the entire time he was watching his big sister and he was chirping in with his information and trying to get involved but he was also just like watching her do her thing and you could see him taking all that information in and just oh I'm a proud mommy so I'm just cooking some dinner. <laughs> oh man. The only thing that's funny though is this little girl asked about, she, she was having this conversation about um, like nature survival I think at the end they got got onto that topic and she was like but what if you have to eat animals and Mackenzie was like oh no but you don't we're vegetarian. <laughs> Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that was funny. And now this kid's like, I want to be a vegetarian too. Sorry to her parents. <laughs> ah, like so that's like a sorry not sorry thing, right? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Anyway, carrying on. Good morning, everybody. Today is day four, right? Yes, it's day four and the last full entire day of camping. I've just washed my hair. I'm making coffee. My hair could not last the entire trip. Well, I, it probably could, I just didn't want to. Not when I don't have to. This is definitely glamping for us. <laughs> um, I'm just making a coffee. Waiting for my water to boil. The river has finally offered up a little bit of a beach. It's much and calmer and lower. Yeah, it's deep and fast over there. You gotta practice. It's not easy. It's not called catching. Just trying to catch some minnows for a little bit. Walk further down. You probably you disturbed this area too much and scared them. You tell him what happened. He? What? What did you catch? I 
catch the minnow. Um, um. Let me see. Let me see a little minnow. Oh, careful. Where is he? Can I see him? Here. There he is. And I'll show you something. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday, so it is day five of being here. Um, I have the heebie-jeebies right now. I just found a tick on the camping chair. I'm pretty sure it was a tick. I've never actually seen one here. Which, how? How have I not seen one or had a tick bite in my life? I don't know. Um, but they're supposedly very bad this year. Closer to the mountains, but still. Gross, gross, gross. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. I was researching what they look like. I'm pretty sure I just found a little one on my camping chair. Ugh. Smush the shit out of it. There's no hard feelings about smushing ticks. We'll never feel bad about smashing ticks. Disgusting. Gross. So, um, I used the last of our tick spray. I've been slathering us in tick spray every single day, every time we go into the tall grass or something, because the grass is as tall as Grayson's head in some spots. I also put a drop of just neat oil on my headband, just in case. Ugh. Gross. I should probably get a tick remover just in case, because there's a lot of controversy on removing ticks. Or like, the best way to get them out. Anyway, um, we need to clean up the trailer. I need to do some dishes. We're just hanging out this morning. It's about 8.30. And Cody is going to come and hang out with us for a little bit and then take us home. And then Cody's mom, is well, both his parents, but his mom's coming out with Cody. And then his parents are going to take over for the weekend so the trailer doesn't have to move and we get the best spot in the campground still. So... We actually decided that we were going to come back on Sunday night and camp for another week. We just weren't ready to go home. So we're going to go home today and we're going to have, we're going to go grocery shopping tomorrow, going to go to Costco and refill everything. I'm going to edit and film as many videos as I can. I didn't film much this week. I really want to apologize for that. I used to say, oh man, I just don't pick up the camera when it's when I'm camping, but it's really, really hard to vlog and camp at the same time because I'm always busy with my hands. You're way dirtier out here. It's just really difficult to film or to set up the camera and film something. Um, and also, I feel like I don't really know what to film when I'm out here. So hopefully next week I do better. I'm going to try and get this out though. I don't think I filmed enough for it to be more than one vlog. So it'll probably just be like one big camping vlog I can get out before I go and hopefully do a quick film of a couple more videos before I head out. And then just like last week, they'll be up just on a timer or on a schedule, so you will see them. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna just take out some of the stuff out of the trailer, we're gonna leave some of the stuff, I'm gonna go home and wash laundry and do all that, and then we'll come back on Sunday night. I'm excited! We love camping very much, and we were just able to make it work, just because I, I do have some stuff going on next week, but I think I can work around it. I think so. We've stopped for ice cream on our way home. Hanging out. We got Tiger. Yep, we chatted with Mimi. Mimi took over the campsite and now we're home. No, we're not. We're at Oh, we're, we're, we're in our town. We're going home. Home-ish. Home-ish. And then we're going to uh, do laundry and get ready to go back out. So, figured I would I'm bad at vlogging when we come. We are home, and uh, Rainbow and the kids have not seen the dogs in five days, and the dogs have not seen Rainbow in five days. My eyes start watering more. It sucks. I'm crying. I've got like sunscreen in my yeah. eyeball. So let's see how this goes. Are they in the window? No, I don't see them. I hear them. Oh my eye! Sunscreen in your eyeballs. <gasps> Hey, Carl. Here, it's dark in here. Hi, oh, Wait, what did what did Carl get on her back? It looks like soap. Carly, were you hiding under the barbecue? You dummy. I'm 
and my eye is just like pouring. Hi, Finny. Hi, baby. Don't lick me. I'm so dirty. I'm all done. Hi. Babies. I knew they would be excited. Like, mommy, mom. Well, if you get in the shower, you can cuddle them.